Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. I mainly do fragrance videos, but I do a little bit of everything. And I would absolutely love it if you would like, subscribe and activate the notification bell. So today I'm going to talk to you about my 10 fragrances that I wear the least. This top is really uncomfortable, like really. It's also crappy material, but if you're wondering where is it from, it is from Pretty Little Thing. Okay, guys, so uh, it doesn't mean I hate them. I'm going to explain to you why do I wear them the least, etc, etc, etc. Let's just start. So first, I'm going to start by Black Opium. To me, I don't mean to be rude in any way, shape or form. This perfume is too usual. Too many people wear it, it's just too usual, it's too basic, girl-like, okay? And I don't mean it in a bad way. This literally smells just like a basic vanilla, it's the same vibe as La Vie Belle. I'm just gonna warn you, don't come to me with the, oh, no, you don't have the original version, the original version is actually great. This is the original version. This is just in the bottle of the... So this is the Black Opium Sound Something. It's the exact same perfume in just a different bottle. So this is a vanilla coffee perfume. The lasting power is actually like medium. It's not too, too bad, but it's just a usual person's perfume. When I uh, spray it on, like nothing really. But I have to admit that I like it on other people. It's really just a basic girl perfume. I don't, I don't understand why people like it so much. I bought, I blind bought it because I was complimenting so many people wearing it. But when I wear it, it just like doesn't go with my personality. It has nothing out, like nothing. I like more original perfumes. Okay, this is just to me unoriginal. So yeah, this is in my worst perfumes and my perfumes I will never rebuy. And guys, if you can help me. Uh, like if you mix this with something that actually makes it smell acceptable can you please leave it in the down bar below because i'm searching what to layer it with but it fe i feel like it works with nothing so yeah great buy then i'm going to take these ones out of the way i don't hate them at all i think that they are great for um value for money the lasting power sorry it's itching so the value for mine is actually okay. I mean, they smell good, both of them. So this is uh, Britney Spears Fantasy. Everything will be linked in the down bar below. And Midnight Fantasy. So one of them is more like a very nighttime one. And the other one is more like a fruity... Um... Oh my God, you can tell I'm not wearing them. I think it's, go it's gone off as well. Okay, so this is more like a dark berry kind of scent. It reminds me a little bit of La Petite Robe Noire. I'm not saying it's a dupe or anything, but La Robe Noire de Guerlain, the, the little black dress from uh, Guerlain. And uh, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of kind of this berryish vibe. Uh, this one is, I, I prefer it to this one. Um, I got it ages ago. Seriously, to me, it's associated to bad memories. Uh, I was wearing it because... Um, I have South American girlfriends and it's very popular in Uruguay to like Britney Spears and a lot of people wear it there. So uh, I really liked it on her and that's why I got it. So guys, basically the moral of the story I can already tell you right now. Don't buy something you like on someone else on you. Not because it's gonna smell different on you. Perfumes adapt to personalities. So for example, if someone is different than you. Okay, you can copy perfumes of people who are very similar to you. These ones you can, okay? If they dress like you, if they talk like you, if they have the same personality as you, copy. But if the people are quite different to you, don't copy. Seriously, it's not because something goes with the personality of someone that is going to go with your personality, okay? So yeah, but I still like finished the bottle and this is my second one, so I don't hate it, no, at all. Then I have this one, so this is the original Britney Spears Fantasy. Look, I'm just gonna say to you, it smells exactly like the bottle would 
in play like it smells exactly like the bottle bubbly like uh fruity it's a summer scent this one only the other one i think is fine for all year round this one is only for summer lasting power again so so kkw body okay so this i'm only keeping it seriously i worn it maybe like max three times uh i obviously blind bought it because i don't have a store next to me who said that sells kkw body by the way when i was uh i think this just looks good i like the bottle for me it's a good reason enough to keep a perfume i'm so influenced by bottles seriously like the the perfume companies that do bad bottles like i don't mean like unoriginal but the bottle has to be nice like there is some bottles i really don't like like the mark jacob decadence i hate that bottle This to me, it's only a spring basic girl uh, perfume. The lasting power to to me is not good. Like, I'm sorry, but I no, I don't believe. Like sometimes people go in my comments and say, "Oh my God, it lasts on me all day." I don't know how much you spray on for it to last on you all day, but to me, this not, does not last all day. This is a very volat volatile. Oh my God, I'm not gonna start speaking French. This is a perfume that comes and goes. It's a floral, basic, floral, basic, 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 basic. Okay, I have a lot to go for. Okay, so these are two perfumes that I love, but I don't wear, but I would wear more. Okay, I'm gonna explain. So this is Vangelis from Sylvain de la Courte. It's a niche brand that does excellent scents. And this is Lily Lang from Sylvain de la Courte. Okay, so one of them, Lily Lang, is a Ylang Ylang Jasmine um, mask perfume. On paper, it's exactly what I like. Let's be honest, Jasmine and Ylang Ylang are my favorite floral notes in perfumes. And I think everyone knows by now that I do not really like deep floral, like floral notes that are like too florally. Yeah. So um, this is... A perfect signature scent like perfect and it's a perfect office perfume it's just missing this pop seriously if one day I would want to go visit someone that is dying that doesn't want to have my offensive sense around them someone I respect I would wear this okay no problem if one day I would wear if one day but seriously I don't think this day is gonna come I'm a nurse and seriously if i have to go work back to the hospital i would not be happy i tried them huh? i don't want to not that i don't like the job this is another subject it's not that i don't like the job but it's just like i don't like the fact that you have to wake up at a certain hour to go work i don't like the fact that you cannot plan your days how you want i don't like the fact that i have to stand up for sometimes 12 hours okay <laughs> Here you are. If I don't have to do it, I won't do it. I want easy life. But if one day I have to, this would be the perfect fragrance. It's inoffensive. Even though it's inoffensive, it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. I would define beauty with this scent, okay? Like white color, beautiful. Just a little bit to meh for me. Because I can wear whatever I want. I do what I want. I go wherever I want. So I wear whatever I want, as loud and obnoxious as it can be. Then I have Vangelis from Sylvain Draco. I actually really like this one. It's a warm vanilla scent. I think I'm gonna wear this one more in winter, although it's still a little bit too classic. I feel like this could be easy, my signature scent, when I would get older. I don't know, maybe not, maybe not, but this is amazing. It smells like vanilla and it's warm. It has like this beautiful warming sensation. This is just beautiful, amazing. I don't know what to say. This is a great signature scent for a woman, a beautiful, classy woman who wears less makeup than me and who doesn't have pointy nails. Do you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this is already almost 10 minutes and apps. Well, it looks like I love hating, but I'm not hating. Okay, so Escada Turquoise Summer. I get uh, off guard every time Escada releases a perfume because I love this kind of scents, like this kind of vacation scents where you drink margaritas all day, uh, pina colada. I love these scents on paper. 
When it comes to spray them on me, I literally feel like I smell like vacations and I don't want to smell like vacations. I want to smell like original in your face. I want to smell statementy. This that makes you smell like vacation. So you know what I do sometimes with these perfumes? So I buy one. By the way, this is my daughter's one. I gave it to her. Turquoise summer. It smells like... I don't even know the notes here. It's, it notes, it's notes I don't research in perfumes and I don't want in perfumes. I don't even know. It just smells like sweet, fruity, floral. But more fruity. A lot more fruity than floral. Sweet, fruity. Yes, defined it. Um, but they are all a little bit different, all the escadas. And sometimes I just buy a little bottle when I go on vacation and I mix it with whatever I'm wearing, just one spritz. And then I keep the bottle for ages. I did, I had like one called Cherry Blossom or I don't know what. I took this with me to Sardinia and I had the bottle for ages, like almost like half. I was not spraying it, sometimes I was just smelling it and it was reminding me of my vacations. So, yeah. And uh, I personally, it's a personal preference, I rather take uh, one or two perfumes with me on vacation because after I kind of put them aside because they start to be like reminding me of my vacations. Maybe that's why I have so many perfumes. I don't know, like it's just a vibe, you know. So Turquoise Summer from Escada, this is the one I wear the least. But I never took it on vacation with me, so next vacation you're coming with me, baby. Uh, okay, then I have this, Lolita Lempica. I don't like the bottle of this at all. I don't like anything that's really hippie vibes, like hippie vibes are not my vibe, hippie, like boho. I like it for, wait, wait. I like it for parties in the summer on the beach. Love the boho hippie style for that. Other than this one month a year, no. I like structured pieces, I like black, I like white, I like glam, okay? Okay, I like the scent of it. Uh, it smells like uh, the black candy, the swirly black candy that is called... Okay, um, this smells like this black candy uh, thing. It also has patchouli in it. Patchouli, I don't like patchouli. If you want, I can... Um, make you a video about like scents I would love if they didn't have patchouli in them. Patchouli basically smells like dirt to me. Maybe it smells different to everyone. I don't understand why perfume people put so much patchouli in everything they release when to me, in my opinion, patchouli just ruins the whole thing most of the time. Seriously, like, let's be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. how can I be more honest than that? Like. So it smells like this reg uh, reglisse. reglisse, yeah, the black candy, you know, the swirly black candy. And uh, yeah, I think it's not too, too bad. I don't know why I bought it. Oh yeah, I know why I bought it. I was just in town and it was reduced to like 70% off. I still like it enough to keep it because I still think it's very original, but maybe it's a bit too hippie-ish. I don't know, like, I don't like the concept about it. It's something that makes me don't want to reach for it. When I smell it right now, I like it. I like it on other people, but the concept, I don't like the concept of it, okay? Armani Code. Okay, so this is an orange blossom perfume with white florals. Great clubbing scent. Um, it's quite similar, I would say. It's the same vibe as... This also has patchouli. Yes. I'm pretty sure this also has patchouli. Yes. This is probably the reason why I don't wear it. So this really gives like a kind of masculine, colony vibe to it. Um, it doesn't have any sweetness. It doesn't have any edge really. It's quite really basic. Uh, but I think it's still sexy. Like if you are after a sexy fragrance, this one is still sexy to me. It's a clubbing kind of perfume vibe I feel yeah my grandmother really likes it random fuck guys random then okay so I actually don't mind this perfume at all this is KKW Gardenia Oud so it smells like 
it's just it really smells like a fresh wood to me i don't really pick up much florals in it if i'm honest it smells like an eau de toilette version of any wood perfume you can find that yeah that are quite common nowadays it's just like an eau de toilette version of an wood perfume to me uh look i i actually use a lot of it i don't mind it it's a good summer wood perfume the thing is that you have to spray so much of it and it doesn't last kkw fragrances in my opinion that don't last i have three of them none of them last more than i don't know to be very generous i would say three hours but literally like i'm being so generous Okay guys, so this is all for my perfumes from my collection that I wear the least, but I'm still keeping because yeah, why not? Usually I sell perfumes. Um, I had, by the way, uh, I had quite a few Chanel fragrances. I think that Chanel fragrances are just not for me. I sold a Chanel number no. five, a Coco Mademoiselle. I think though the quality of the fragrances are good. They have a good lasting power because you just, often ask me so let me just like throw it somewhere um yeah uh, i owned pretty much quite a lot of chanel fragrances yeah i want to say almost all but i oh, i sold them almost all so yeah uh how to say i don't think that they are um me they are to me too classic too classic too classy too classic i i don't know yeah that's it uh, I don't mind the Chanel Noir and the Coco Chanel, the Coco Mademoiselle and the Chanel Noir are okay for me, but they are still too boring. Okay, but I still like them, but I, I think that they are just a tiny bit too boring. But I mean, they represent perfectly Chanel's image, although I don't mind Chanel bags at all. Okay, but yeah, I feel like I'm really classical with the way I dress. And I feel like I put the emphasis on my personality, on my makeup, nails, and perfumes. Because I dress pretty basic. Shoes and bags. Yeah, I like this too. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Rambly, as usual. I'm not even apologizing anymore. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, activate the notification bell, and I would absolutely love to see you soon. Bye.